Okay, guys, right. wish me luck. Oh, First bench trail, guys. Right. Yep. yep. You can get bitch. You got this. Shit. Easy wing. Easy wing. Nah, you've been oh. chewing on that straw too long. You've been still chewing on that straw too long to think about shit. I remember damn my name. Bruce Baylor. The weed seller. Oh. oh wait, the professional hand lit? flyer. Uh, no. My name is Pat. Hey, Obo, can you. <laughs> Wait, can you uh, can you let out the lawyers through the back? I got you. What did the schedule say? Better drive say too. Listen, I spent a lot of money getting a manicure. You better be careful with my goddamn nails. I said it. You know you're gonna lose, right? I have a picture of you selling drugs. Hey, How hey, are you gonna hey, win this? Hey, hey, hey! It's about winning or losing. It's about making you held accountable for your actions and lack of actions okay well, fucker, you're gonna I find out you're gonna find out today in the court of law how you failed to conduct your proper you know what you failed to learn you failed to hold retain the information you learned in the academy you this battery of fire 76 to a courthouse with 195 remember, best route you can't remember much that i've told you today what the fuck did you say you heard me what 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 they call you out here on the streets? I said it, Mr. Worldwide. What you mean? What they call me? They call you on the streets, Mr. Worldwide. I just told you. Oh hell no! You ain't no damn worldwide, worldwide liar. Look at this. Look at this. Cops pulling up with no doors. What kind of police department is this? Safari model. Safari model. I guess there ain't no damn repair kits in the city. I huh? no no kind of mechanics. No, it's a safari model. Okay, Mr. Bruce, let's walk to the courthouse. Hey, what gang you in? I see you wearing that rag. Who you represent, brother? Cuba. I think this is gang related. I think you damn hold a grudge against me. Are you quiet now? Oh, you quiet now? You nervous? You thinking about the process here? Oh, you shaking in your boots I right said, now? Bruce, you're like, you're like Bruce, oh my god! I have to listen. say your honor. Oh my god! But don't forget, don't forget now. I'm gonna tell you this, Bruce. Why? Don't forget. You got to say your honor. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. You got to say your honor. You got to say your honor. You got to make sure not to talk over her. Are you or don't? Him. Are you don't? No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm helping you, this. you out here. I'm gonna tell you this. Training. You know, then said once told me that he wanted to ruin people's lives, and when he told me that, I was like, no, bro, I want to serve the public. I want to help people, you know, I, I got to follow my job at the end of the day. I want to do rehabilitation, you know what I mean? Wait a but second. But after I met you, after I met you, bro. Wait a you know, second. Maybe, maybe I do I'm want to ruin people's lives. Maybe I'm I looking do. around and I'm seeing, let's see, who asked? Your mother. <laughs> You're lucky I'm in cuss right now. You're lucky I'm in cuss right hey, now. Coyote, be advised, there's a dark in color four there door, you. one fella in it. Did you hear him tell all that story? Nobody asked, did they? I didn't ask. Did you ask? Mr. Bruce, listen, listen you can't you ruin remember the statue. Day hey, after hey, day. hey, 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 Mr. you can't ruin the statue, license. You, you can't ruin the statue, you know. Statues stand with the test of time, you know. These statues that were built in Greece, in Rome, they're still standing. And guess what's not standing? The people who try to take them down. That's you, Bozo. That's you. You're not going to withstand much longer, especially after we get done with you here in court today with your damn bribery tactics. <sighs> oh, take it to bench trial. All right. If I'm going to charge you with this, if I. Time, I stayed on the roof until officers moved in had eyes on him. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. I just don't know, like, I feel like we have everything, right? We have, we yeah. have the drug sale call. Yep. He was we, in we the need, area. We have everything we, we need. We have handoffs. Just, yeah. I'm just going to ask and the you drugs, right? Of, uh, okay. Yeah. You, like, honestly, you could probably just get away with saying, like, you want to just look at the evidence. Um, I said, if he beats the case, I'm quitting my job. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. The guy was caught in 4K. <laughs> Maeve, <laughs> Maeve, what? <laughs> What happened? <laughs> yeah. I fell off the roof of my building. Oh um, <laughs> What the fuck? I said it. What what the fuck is happening to Maeve? What happened? She's she's doing the the VR, but when she came she's out of the VR. Oh, yeah, she, okay. She like came out of the VR a little too too hard, you know, hit the ground. Yeah, is there any crim judge like is every 
Yo, is there any, is there any hey, so judge like, I'm considered just a crim judge? Both just a couple of real simple questions to establish why you were there and shit. Pretty this yeah. easy. I mean, most of it is going to be me because uh, Pigadio was just washing yep. my back and then he just detained the guy. So he's going to be disobeying. Yep. Though I did hear that as well, that he got given way too many, both like way too I many. I said it. I gave the dude 20, and... 20 times. Yeah. 20 times. Did, I gave the dude at yeah. any point. At any point, did you say this is a lawful order? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Cool. I'll ask you that. All right. The report's been shared. Yeah, one, hey, if we, hey, we could put, we could put subs on it. Baylor, I'm just you saying. Step foot outside of this courtroom, you will be charged with contempt in the amount of five hundred months and five hundred thousand dollars. Is that understood? Oh my God! What? Okay. Five hundred months, five hundred thousand, and he runs. Oh yeah, she, oh, she's on the PD side for sure. Oh, oh shit! I said it. She on the PD side for sure. Five hundred months, five hundred thousand. Oh. There's no way we lose. <laughs> Binga. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Okay, Riker, let me know if, if there's anything. Any question or anything you want to practice, whatever. Um, Who's going to go? Opal, are you going to go first? Yeah, it's probably the okay. best one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 just ask me questions. I'm not going to statements. Sure, that's fine. All right, PD, who's going to be testifying for your side? Uh, it'll be Opal Price and Pigadio, both the okay. deputies here. All right, wonderful. Defense, do you need much more time? Uh, Your Honor, I don't believe we need much more time, but I would like to request a sidebar. Sure, both parties approach. What's going on? Uh, Your Honor, we find it prudent for us to report to the court that there is a third charge here on this report, which is disobeying a uh, peace officer. Um, it was not until we were already discussing with the clients and the officers and we had established uh, that there was initially only two charges, but we mentioned the client's interest in a bench trial and the officer said, oh, okay, you're going to bench. I have another charge I'm going to add. And that's when they added disobeying a police officer. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, Gatsby, can I, can I, miss, your honor, miss your honor, you know, can I rebuttal? Sure. Okay, so he was originally supposed to get three charges, okay, but I wanted to be a nice police officer and be like, you know what, I don't want to fuck this guy too hard. Instead of hitting him with three charges, I'm going to hit him with two charges, okay? Set of drugs and misdemeanor possession of marijuana, right? And then they told me, okay, listen, we're going to bench trial. And I'm like, okay, well, if you want to bench trial, I'm gonna have to add that. I'm gonna have to add that charge back because if we want to bench trial, we need every single charge, so it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I was dropping the charge, thinking I was gonna be nice to the guy and that he was gonna plead guilty and we were gonna be good. You see what I'm saying? Okay. The the term charge back uh, never occurred, Your Honor. It was apparently formulated uh, from that point on. It wasn't even. Uh, alluded to initially your honor okay uh your what? honor may i speak on that may, may, may i speak on that sure the decision to um you know be nice drop that charge was made before he stated that he wanted a lawyer so that was a decision that was made between picadillo and i before the lawyers were ever even there mm. w opal w opal okay so, Ms. Control, so the issue I have is that in the bench trial request, we have all three of these charges there, so I can't confirm mm. in any solid way <laughs> whether this is gotcha. in any way malicious or intentional. Gotcha. I will say to the officers that it should have been better communicated. I did tell them that, the John. Lawyers. Actually, I did tell them that prior to requesting the bench trial when so they, they walked in i told them what you were doing i told them that and to offer better communication moving forward when you're talking with the lawyers but, uh, Listen, your honor we apologize well, we, see, we apologize no no hold on one second one second miss Opal. i'm sorry uh, just to be clear when the lawyers walked into the to the mrpd i also mentioned that i was dropping the the what's it called the charge i mentioned that when they walked in I told them the two okay. charges, and I mentioned that I dropped that charge. Okay? Just to be clear. Okay. Yeah, that's 
about the bare minimum I can ask for. So just keep that in mind that you want to make sure that the lawyers are fully aware of what's going on. Even yes, if you have to ask them if they understand or if they have any questions, just make sure that they're aware. Yes, Your Highness. Just Not necessary. Or Queen. Oh, sorry, ma'am. No. Yes, yes, Your Honor. That's all right. Thank you so much. All right. Is there anything else? What was that, Tony? Yeah. And I was going to say, is Opal alleging against me is not a queen? That's crazy. Oh, I, I don't know. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Thank you. Tony, get your nose out of my ass. It doesn't belong up there. I wasn't trying to. Oh! Okay, never mind. Hey, Mimara, Tony, what you doing, man? Go that far. I I'm kidding. Tony. What hey, are you I'm doing? I'm just questioning you, Opal. I didn't say. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for I'm, him, I'm Your Honor. I'm speaking. sorry for him. In a court of law. Thank you. What are we saying, sir? <laughs> okay, now you get. Never mind. Never mind. No. All right. So, are we, we good to go with there? that? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. All right. Then let's get this underway. Your Honor, nothing like bribery, Your Honor. Uh, it's a, like bribery a going on here. Right? So take it to court oh, and we add yeah, additional charges. Why not? Let's go ahead and just keep okay. the law system uh, then, yeah, the way it is. Be safe, okay? A bunch yeah. of baloney is what it is. This bozo right here didn't Sir, say nothing about it. As I it. explained to your lawyers, what was requested are the charges that were on your hmm. report yeah, yes, when you're, you're, I did. Then, so there isn't really anything I can do other than suggest better communication. Oh, their word of mouth is better than our word of mouth, is what you're saying. The fact that no he decided to add the evidence charge. Is well, is what okay, I have. well. There is concrete evidence. The charge wasn't literally there. He didn't say nothing about the charge being, he said it all came about after I requested a bench trial. And that was a threat for me to keep from coming to the bench trial and plead guilty to go with his charges. That's what it was about. Now he can twist it any way he wants to, but that's what exactly happened. We can continue, wanna, I'm sure. sorry. If, if, if I can put in, do you wanna, do you wanna can I say something? Sure. This bedana is too tight around. I wanted to bedana. say that Obviously, it wasn't a threat because the charge is literally like three months. So that charge, five months, three hundred dollars. You know, so how would that be a threat? It's literally the the, the lowest charge you could hit. You know what oh, I mean? Well, if it wasn't a threat, then why did you put it initially? Because I was being nice to you, my friend. Oh, okay. So now it's being nice. There's not the law, right? Okay, got it. We are going to get this underway. I was literally being nice to him. I'm not hitting. I wasn't hitting him with that no. charge. Today is June 26, 2024. The time is 4.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is a bench trial for Bruce Baylor. Oh, you're good, Mr. Alex. Mr. Baylor, you're I'm good. going to read off your charges. Oh, Please enter a plea of guilty or not guilty as I read them off. One count, sale of drugs. How do you plead? Not guilty. One count, misdemeanor, possession. Yo, 26, would they get the sub? Thank you so much, 26. Chat, we're 110 subs away from peanut, chat. Not guilty. 110 away from peanut. With a plea of not guilty entered for all charges, I will now ask that anyone who is testifying, please raise your left hand. Mr. Baylor, I will ask you to do the same, though you are not compelled to testify at this time. She run out of breath. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 110 subs from peanut. Yeah, people wanted me to pay... A bunch of hoppers wanted me to play peanut, so I said, if you want me to play peanut, 100 subs. All right. And then people countered it, so we're not, now we're at 110. I've had enough. I've had enough of this fucking shit. I'm sorry for cursing, but that bozo there has got me so fired up, it's unbelievable. I, okay. Do you swear and affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, under pains and penalties of perjury? So help you, Derek. So listen, Your Honor. It's going to be a lot of pain. It's a lot of pain going through this baloney. But yes, I Your Honor, yes. All right. Prosecution, your first witness, please. Uh, Deputy Opal Price. Deputy like Price, to when up. you are ready, yeah, to come to the center of the room and provide me what? with your narrative of what, what was happened. That? Does she go? have to give a narrative, or can we just kind of do questioning? Oh, if you want to do questioning, go for it. Yeah, cool. Uh, Opal, you still want to show questioning, not want to give a narrative? Yeah, just ask me. Cool. Uh, what Don't were you doing down in Vespucci on Gilman Street? Uh, I was responding to drug sale calls that I had noticed come through over dispatch. I was just staking out the general area, seeing what I saw. Okay. Uh, what did you witness when you arrived? 
Uh, when I arrived, I noticed multiple individuals, um, like over, like around the Goma Street area. I'm not exactly sure what street it was. Uh, it was like a blue and color building. Uh, there's, CG I need peanut. 110 subs, and I'll get on peanut. Greek, uh, you want to give the 110? Be the defendant. Uh, the other one was wearing like a purple-ish shirt, and then there was other individuals that were in the alleyway that I also noticed. Uh, while they were talking, um. You know, I just kept watching for a bit, see if anything was going to happen. Uh, I then, you know, kind of, I guess, you could say witnessed a hand of, though I was being blocked by a bus and could only see through the windows of the bus. So I couldn't really, you know, definitively tell who made the hand off. Uh, so I, you know, got closer. Uh, I snuck up on a roof and I say less, you know, Jinx, say saw less. the defendant do a hand off. Uh, was the person you saw doing a handoff, did they have a mask covering their face? No. Did you take any photos of what you witnessed? I did. Are they the photos entered into evidence titled Handoff on Goma Street? They are. Have you ever responded to drug sales calls before? Uh, pretty much daily. In your experience responding to these drug sale calls, do you typically see suspects making handoffs like shown in the photo? Yep, all the time. Uh, after you witnessed those handoffs, uh, what happened next? I jumped off the roof, ran into the alley where other officers were attempting to detain the two individuals that were left on scene. Bro, I don't even uh, know what I, I don't know why people are going crazy today. I haven't even done shit. The but... shirt. Uh, I called out that the individual in the purple shirt hadn't done anything and that he was to be detained for being unseen, but he was to not be frisked or searched or anything like that. Uh, just be, you know, kind of kept away from the action, but to be kept an eye on. Um, and then, uh, you know, I kind of observed. Now you know what you did. What did I do, bro? What the fuck? Did... The <laughs> what did I do, brother? Uh, which he refused. He was you now walking away. Uh, from Picadillo, and uh, you know, he was not letting himself be detained until Picadillo tackled him and put him in handcuffs. At any point, did anybody, or uh, I'll rephrase, at any point, did any police officer responding to the scene lose visual on the person you saw doing the handoffs? Objection, leading. Uh, it was a yes or no question, so I don't feel like it was leading. <laughs> I am going to have to agree with the officer in this. It is not inherently leading. It is just a yes. Yo, Gatsby just munching on some shit, chilling. <laughs> no, I had eyes uh, from the moment the handoff was made to when officers arrived on scene. I had eyes the whole time, and then officers had eyes the whole time on him. All right, no further questions. All right, defense cross examination. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I think I have a couple questions, and Tony might as well. Um, officer, hi. Um, hi. Did the 911 call shown in evidence come from anyone in the photographs and evidence? Uh, objection speculation. I actually, I don't, I don't have a rebuttal to that, Your Honor. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you to ask it again because it feels like I have a cat screaming in my head. I can ask it again, Your Honor. Please do. Did the right, 911 lawyer. phone calls, uh, alleged in evidence, come from anyone within evidence photographs? The objection, I should, the objection to that was speculation. Yep, I can see how it's speculative that will be sustained. <laughs> oh, nah! Officer! I'm mi madre! I'm mi madre! Who did the uh, calls come from? Objection, speculation. Again, no rebuttal. <laughs> what? There is a way to ask it that isn't speculatory, so it's going to be sustained. <laughs> the question in a better way if you can. Officer, do you know who placed these 911 calls? No. <laughs> Officer, well? can you see the defendant's face in any... Evidence photographs. Appreciate to look at my MDT. 
Yeah, you may refer to your MDT. No? No, I just see his, you know, the, his hairstyle, his beard, the same shirt. <laughs> oh, the sir. fucking same jeans, the same whole outfit, the same tattoos. How many other people were involved around the scene? <clears throat> uh, uh, originally. Can I eject to that? It would also be speculation. There's no way to know how many general people were in the area. Yeah, it's a little bit vague. Uh,. Be a bit more precise in what you're asking, Contralto. All right, is Riker smurfing? Officer, were there any persons other than the defendant in the area? Yes. Would you be able to approximate the amount? Um, originally, I want to say there was at least four, possibly five. However, when I moved in closer, it was just a defendant and one other individual. Rikers Global Elite and Lawyer? <laughs> as far as I could see. Yeah, for real, Rikers... Could you was... see what was being handed off in these allegations? Yep, marijuana. Drugs? Object on weird. How, how did you know there were drugs being handed off? I'm not Sorry. sure how you want me to answer that. I'll, yeah, I'll be yeah. honest. I, I don't objection, know how you want me to answer that. Objection weird. Your Honor, that I can rebut to. Okay. okay. We don't feel it's weird. Anyone can hand anyone anything. And, uh, it, it is. I don't know why leading, you're arguing this. It's uh, fucking stupid. Do anything. <laughs> we just want to establish <laughs> yeah. that. Um, it didn't necessarily need to be drugs that they saw being handed off. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I can also see how it could be a bit difficult to answer in a straightforward manner the way it was asked, so I will just ask this. Opal, could you identify what was being handed off? I I, I don't know how to answer that question. It, it's fine, Opal. Um, if they ask me that, I'm going to be like, yeah, of... it was a weed bag. Yeah, I, you, you can answer it if you, if you feel like you can. It's it's all good. Uh, your your honor, the witness is, is being given instructions by the other counsel. I, I, I withdraw Yo. what I said. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yo. Dude, oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I'm struggling I mean, to find a way to get through the weird on this one, so the objection weird is going to be sustained. Understood, Your Honor. Is sustained good or bad? Good, very good. Your objection was upheld. She, she went with it. questioning. Ah. Officer, was anyone who received drugs apprehended? Alle alleged drugs? Ah, yes, that's a, apprehend nope. the locals. <laughs> One moment, Your Honor. One moment, officer. <laughs> yep, we apprehended those fucking locals. What is you guys? Was anybody that was was anybody that was apprehended received like they're, they're basically she's trying to ask whether we sorry, arrested the okay, locals so we for say, buying no, drugs. No, if you want to do that, listen, we're going to say yes, we uh, we apprehended a few locals that gave us what? a statement that they were hand, they bought <laughs> weed and their name was Tony Spaghetti and he gave us a statement that they were buying... I said it, if that's what we're doing, I mean, you know what I mean? We that, can't, we can't, but trust me, Pikachu, the judge is Your not going to entertain Your Honor, we have no further questions for this witness. Thank you. All right. Deputy Price, you may step down. Thank you, Your Honor. Prosecution, your next uh, witness. That was a good objection. Okay, my turn, Deputy my turn. Deputy Picadillo. All right, Deputy, will you be providing a narrative or will it be questioning as well? I said I could do narrative, but I could do what? Can I do both? Yeah, you can yeah. ask you questions too. Okay, thank you, Your yeah. Highness. Okay, so start with your narrative when you're ready. Okay, I responded as backup to a drug sale call, okay, that Opal was responding to. She was primary. Okay, I responded. When I got there, I got on the roof. Opal was taking pictures. Okay, we were responding to a drug sale call, like I said. Now, the, where we were at, 
we weren't able to see too good. So Opal said, okay, you know what? Let me move somewhere else to take a picture. So she went somewhere else to take a picture. Okay. And then she took a picture of the guy selling weed in 4K. I mean, it was like a 3D picture. Like it was like I was, I was watching a movie. Like 3D, I could see it right there. Okay. Then, after she saw that, she's like, okay, I got the Honda for picture. Let's get everybody ready. And after 20 seconds, we moved in and swarmed on the guy. After we went in, okay, I told the individual, sir, get against the wall, you're detained. Get against the wall, you're detained. Okay? Because, you know, we got the picture, we got the 911 call, we got, we got everything. So when I was telling him that, he wasn't listening. He was like, no, no, I don't want to do that. Why? Why you don't have anything? You can arrest me. I'm like, sir, you got to do that. You got against the wall, you're going to be the thing. I told the guy 20 times to do that, and he didn't listen a single time. So then I told him, my friend, if you don't listen to my lawful command, which I told him, it was a lawful command. If you don't listen, I'm going to tackle you. I gave him one more chance. He didn't listen, so I tackled him, and I put him in cuffs. Okay? That's when I searched him. Okay, for not listening to my commands, he had 39 weed bags, a gun, few joints, a, like around 7,000 rolled up bills of cash in his pocket. Also, just to be clear, he also had no flyers on his person. Zero flyers, but a lot of weed. And that's my statement. All right, prosecution, follow up questions. Uh, when you were questioning Bruce, did he claim to be selling anything? Yes, he was saying I was giving flyers, I was giving flyers, but I never saw any flyer. Objection, hearsay. Your client is here to testify whether, whether or not he chooses to is his prerogative, but that makes it inherently not hearsay. That's overruled. <laughs> uh... What was Bruce being arrested for on the scene? So, like I said, we responded to a drug sale call. Somebody was selling drugs in the area. Uh, Opo then got a picture of him handing off what I saw in the picture. seemed to be, it looked like a wee bag. It, looked like, so it was a wee bag in the picture. He was handing it off. He was going to be arrested for selling drugs. Okay. Now, I was trying to give him a chance. And he kept not listening to my commands. So he also got disobeying of a peace officer. And that's why he was putting cuffs for disobeying. All right, uh, one moment. Yo, next time we get a picture of somebody selling drugs, we got to add a weed bag. Uh, did you tell Bruce that it was a lawful order to turn around and be placed into cuffs? And not yes. Resist? I told him like a million times to get against the wall, and I told him it was a lawful command. I said, hey. No for command, get against the wall, you're detained. All right, no further questions. All right, defense cross examination. So, officer, was it he was being detained or was it he was being arrested? To be honest with you, I mean, I was trying to give him the chance. That's why I didn't instantly arrest him. I was trying to give him a chance. And he kept disobeying me. So then he was fully arrested after. But at first I was trying to detain him. But it could have gone both ways. Because, I mean, we already had probable cause to arrest him. Because we literally saw a picture of the guy selling drugs in 4K. So he was already cooked. Did you detain anyone else? No, we only got a picture of him selling drugs. Well, I'm sorry. Because I'm referring to evidence and I see multiple photographs and I... I count at least three other individuals who. Okay, let me clarify. Other than I, any who is be alleged to be uh, our client here. Well, hold okay. on. Uh, ob objection. That's not a question. It was a statement. Let me clarify. Yeah, that is counsel be testifying, and that is different yeah. from the record. Okay, I did not detain anybody else. Okay, that's what I'm answering. Who are the other people in the photographs? Objection. Speculation. They were not detained or arrested on scene, so he, he would have no way to know. Officer? I don't believe it's speculation. If he doesn't know, he can answer that. That one's overruled. Understood. I have no idea. 
Did you consider detaining anyone else on scene? The only the only person that we got a picture of selling drugs in 4K was him. So personally, me, I'm speaking for myself. No. Well, well, officer, I mean, hmm. the picture I'm looking at is two people looking at each other. Is it not possible that the other person was selling my client drugs? No, because I saw the weed bag come from his hand, handing it to the other guy. You saw that. You can see it in the picture. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I see. One moment, please. Listen, I mean, if they want to argue, I don't mind if people argue that, but I'm going to argue the same thing back. You know what I mean? Like, right? Is that bad? <laughs> like, if somebody argues that, I'm going to argue the same shit back. I, I saw we uh, in his hand officer, and he handed it off. Who took these pictures? Opal. So, if Opal was taking the picture, how did, how did you see who handed who what? Because I looked at the picture. So you determine this from the picture itself? Well, if you see a picture of somebody handing it back to somebody else, I mean, you can determine that, right? One moment, Your Honor. Uh, we, we got a little bit on that one. Uh, <laughs> she said we got him? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Wait. No, she said we got him. You threw it. How the fuck did I throw? What do you mean? You can see what's happening in a picture, can you not? If I see a picture of somebody grabbing a weed bag and handing it to someone else, I could see that in the picture. What do you mean? What, what is there to throw? You got you. Yo. After the fact? Yeah, but we're going off Opal's testimony. If Opal's saying she saw the guy handing it off and then she has a picture of it, that's enough. The primary officer saw it, and then I saw it after the fact on in the picture. But the primary officer saw it regardless. Yo, Asha, thank you for getting the sub. Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Hello, I'm speaking with Chess now. I'm a big boy now. Uh, can you hear me? Good. Yep. Okay. Uh, Mr. Picadillo, uh, I just want to ask a clarifying question. Since we've all seen the pictures at this point, um, uh, were any of the other pictures of alleged handoffs uh, are you guys, are you guys attesting that it's involving my client as well? What? Are you saying are in the evidence? But since everything that you're basing on off of right now is pictures, um, which specific pictures are involved with my client? Because there's it's, ma two it's mainly the it's the primary picture. It's the one. It's called are you right now? Handoff Goma Street, nineteen thirty one. Is the one where you can literally see the guy in four K. Handing off a weed bag to another individual with a blue shirt. That picture. That's the main picture. And then, are you able to determine if there are any other suspects in the other pictures when it comes to handoffs? Like the one behind the bus or the one in the alleyway? If you look at the one behind the bus, I mean, it's not enough to determine. That's why multiple pictures were taken. That's why we didn't go in with the picture from the ha with the bus. We went with, we went with the picture where he was caught in 4K. Okay, the one about the one in the alleyway is. Are any of those related to my client as well? I cannot speak for that because I'm not the one that took the picture. So, would it be possible that be more than one party engaged in handoffs in this area? based on the evidence that you guys provided. Like I said, I didn't take the picture, so let me check. I don't believe so, because in the other pictures, you really can't tell who's uh, getting the handoff. So I wouldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't say there's more than one suspect, to be honest. I mean, if you look at the uh, partial handoff on Goma Street, there's two individuals right there. Do you not agree? Yeah, but the one with the red shirt isn't actually handing off anything. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why I don't know. If the, I, I don't know if it's possible that there can be more than one suspect. 
Maybe I'm just saying, uh, I don't know. I'm not the one that took the picture. I cannot see correct. Um, I think I'm good. Let me double check real quick. Uh, yeah, let's confirm real quick over here. Uh, this is all. This is all good. Basically, he got all his information. Bro, we literally saw. Bro, how how simple is this? We saw a picture of the dude selling drugs, so we moved in twenty seconds and arrested him. No, no, no. Now he's saying the other pictures don't look like those people are handing anything off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And uh, just another clarifying question regarding the evidence here. Um, okay. If they're, if you're not unsure, if you're, if you're saying that, oh, sorry, if you're unsure that they're, ha if they're handing anything off, why would, why were they submitting the evidence to begin with? Uh, you asking me questions that I can answer because uh, I'm not uh, the uh, one that. Uh, objection. 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 S speculation. He was not. Yeah. Just speculation. Yeah, that's sustained. He's already very much established that he's not the one who took the pictures or added them to evidence. He can't answer that question. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Mm. Okay. Easy clap. He was gonna disagree with the judge. We kind of. Yeah. I think I might save the next one for closing, but let me confirm my accounts one more time. Yo, do you hear them? <laughs> she thinks, she's like, she's like, I got him. I got him. Yo, she's like, I got him. There's no way. Yo, if we lose this, I'm gonna give y'all. Dude. Holy fuck. This would be such a bad president. How would this be a bad president if I win? What are you talking about? Alright. Deputy Piccadillo, you can step down. Wait, what? Like, what are you talking How would this be a bad president if I won? Uh. Negative, your honor. We're, we're, we're okay, if I lose the case, I'll give the hundred. Okay. But if I win, you give the hundred. How about that, Astro? Defense. Will your client be testifying today? This oh, case honor. happened with others already. Okay, right. but you Is tell me you how this would be a bad president. You tell me. Before I go deliberate. Yes, your honor. One moment. I'm saying. I'm saying. You tell me why this would be a bad president. Like, go ahead. Which light? Light? Did you the answer or what? Handoffs or alleged handoffs and the other evidence. Um. Basically, what I'm saying is that, like, there's, it comes into question, you know, how many parties were actually uh, around the scene doing handoffs, and if, you know, it comes into question if... Oh, you, know, you still haven't know, answered, man. It comes into question how, how would they know that my client would be the only one uh, on the scene that could potentially even be doing these things. Um, as we see in their own evidence right there with partial handoffs, there's two parties in there, none of them matching any descriptions that, um, of my client. Uh, you know, doing handoff in an alleyway. We have a picture of a bus with a hand in the window. Um, not even sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, and they have another picture saying it was a capture in 4K. You know, they got everything but a face. So we can't even attest that's even our client. Is he doing the, the, um, is he doing the closing? So these are some things I'd like to bring what is he up doing? and like to highlight. Uh, he's, uh, I don't even know what he's doing right now. Have more is, is this I, I guess this is... Uh, additionally, Your Honor, I'd just add I, that you know, listen, the testimony let him cook, from man. Uh, they got nothing. the officer himself that he he moved in on our client based on the photograph itself. That Watch, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go right here. Out that has no face. Hold on, no, 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 we'll, we'll do from a. No, but I better. Do right, do right, close me on this. Close me on this. Right, close me on this. Um, and right. is jumbled watch, watch. with a few other yeah, categorical man, photographs of which there's watch, people that are definitely not watching. our client who could be engaged in similarly similarly suspicious activity. Um, mm. However, none of these people were moved in on detained or questioned, just simply um, our client in this matter. Uh, and with that, Your Honor, we put it to rest. All right. This court is in recess. Hold on, hold on. Can I do it? They ping, I mean, what? No closing statements in bench trials. That's right, That's Bozo. I say, how were they able to give a whole speech, but I wasn't able to say something? What the fuck? So, he didn't give a, a so second because on that straw, Bruce buddy. didn't give a, a statement. Uh, they are allowed to uh, summarize uh, or point best. out particular pieces of evidence. Um, and I guess he kind of threw in a bit of closing statement there as well. It's a bit cheeky, but I mean, we fucking slaughtered them. So I don't, yeah. Uh, if... Are you serious? After reviewing the evidence and taking into consideration testimony, Defense, I can applaud you for 
your attempt to instill reasonable <laughs> doubt into the sale of drugs. No, no. I wouldn't call Had much he not attempt. been identified by sight and apprehended on scene, it would have worked. However, the fact that he was apprehended on scene <laughs> is <laughs> little to no reasonable doubt that it was him in the photograph. For that reason, he will be found guilty of sale of drugs and misdemeanor possession of marijuana. However, due to his behavior today in court, I will not be finding him guilty of disobeying a peace officer. What? He will be given time served. And the guy disobeyed me 20 times. The full amount for the fine and let go of his own cognizance. This finding of this court and the case is adjourned. Uh, Thank you, Your Honor. Did she say not guilty to disobeying a peace officer? Yeah. The guy disobeyed me 20 times. I gave him 20 chances. You know, you should have done that. It's all good, brother. I said, what you mean? I went to deliberate. Well, that's kind of like a Yo, Turtle, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Before we get an answer. I thought we were supposed to. I thought the legislation said to do it at the time of them as sentencing. We don't want to curse it. Thank you so much for the 2,000 bits, man. I appreciate you. Show some love, chat. Thank you, Turtle. Thank you, Blades. No, no, no. I said, no, no. I said 100 gifted if I lose. Have a moment to go over his profile. I guess the judge will do it. It might legitimately take a moment because I think the MDT is slowing down again. What do you mean stop thanking you, bro? Listen, I'm a first-time offender. You know, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I have a couple of track citations, but that's it. Wait, can I just say, can I beat him and just let him go or no? So the the judge said we give him the bill and then he's he's let go in time. So oh okay, okay. So the judge is asking if you guys are happy with the diversion program being applied to Bruce. So the, okay, the... Hey, I'm okay with it if you know he if he apologizes for the way he treated me in the cells. Are you willing to apologize, Your Honor? Your Honor? <laughs> I, Your Honor, I will if he apologizes to me on how he treated me coming up the stairs. He says he's gonna make my life hell and he's gonna ruin my life that's exactly his words so your honor and i don't no, fear of my life out there on the streets because he said he's gonna ruin my life and i worked very hard to build this life and i told him i was gonna be a statue and i am a statue that everybody that throughout the test of time statues stand and those people who take them down do not stand the test of time and that's him i am him <laughs> yeah, if he apologizes to me i'll apologize to him are you okay with that Miss, your, listen, Your Highness. If I may say, I, I have nothing to apologize for. I tried to, <laughs> I tried to help this guy the whole time. I was trying to explain to him I was dropping a charge. Get I was being nice. I'm gonna tackle you. I'm I was being you. nice. So, gonna... Listen, Miss, Your Highness. This guy was selling drugs to kids. To kids. kids. Can you believe what that? Is uh, what is can you believe that? Hey, hey, what, is the, what is the photo show? It is not a kid. That's a grown ass man. Listen, Miss Gatsby. As big as I will not. Be, hey, hey, I will not be. Right? I will not be apologizing to him. But I need an apology if he wants the program. Okay. Our law enforcement officers shoot shit all over. Oh, hold they on, shoot okay. it in the air. They oh, shoot okay. at people. They shoot all over the place. Okay, not having fine. any care or reason for where they shoot. Now, let me His lawyer's like, hold on. His lawyer's scared as fuck. That is quick. I think what we're trying yo. to find right now is a compromise to agree to the terms of the program. His lawyer's scared as fuck that he's about to admit a bunch of shit. Why not just hug it out? Hug it out to acknowledge that. Hey, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Him hugging you. Hold on now. Wait. on. Listen. First of all, if we're doing hugs, he's hugging me. Oh, you hugging me. You come hug oh, me. Look, you guys hug both. Let's, let's of give him some room okay? here. Let, let's give yeah, him some yeah, hug. Yeah. Let's get him over here, Come hug, hug me. And, hey, and also, also, can I leave? Guys, I, also, I always skip this part. Oh, well, you have to supervise this. You're, you're the primary on this. Well, one. I usually man. skip this part, though. That's right. I can, I can supervise. It's all good. Wait, come on. Oh, I said it. You want this program. You want the rehabilitation program. You come over here. Hug. Oh, yeah. You guys have to take your glasses here. off and look each other in the eyes, okay? And then approach each other and hug it out. I'm gonna move out of the way. Listen, come over here, big boy. No, come over here, motherfucker. Come over Walk here. To each other. You going to me? Your Honor, also, Do I would you like see to... why I usually skip this part? Your Honor, also, yeah. I would like to go ahead and inform you that this officer here has been chewing on the same straw for five fucking days. You know how much bacteria and stink is on that damn thing? Okay. What? You wash him when he goes Johannes, home? You, you Johannes, follow him? I, I would like to stay. Does this. Johannes, does this seem like a guy do you no, think it, will be rehabilitated in 30 months? I mean, 30 days. You see what I mean? Come, come, come over and hug me. Come over and hug me, big boy. Do you want to hug me? 
Miss Gatsby, I, you see, I don't think he wants it. You know, I don't think he wants the program. He doesn't seem like he, he wants to rehabilitate Come on, even the judge said to meet in the middle. Come on, oh, yeah, okay. come on, step okay, forward. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Right. okay, step, okay. Hey. Now hug me, motherfucker. You go first. <laughs> you go I'll first. Get the opposite. Oh, we're kind of down, guys. Kind of down. Hug me. All right. Three, two, one, go. Ready? Oi, what you doing, bro? You you not listen to the judge. <laughs> you do, not listen to the judge. You got contempt of court. Gatsby, you, you seen too. this? You too. You seen this, Gatsby? You see this? Yeah, He's very far. He's Your Highness, are you seeing this? Right, count that again. Count that again. No program from you, my friend. No program from you. Three, two. You better hug me. You're... One. Hug. Now. All right, I want my damn program. I, oh, hey, you did it first, okay. my friend. You did it first, my friend. Oh, see? Oh, <laughs> hey. See, that's a good resolution. Okay. okay. The conditions of the diversionary program. You must go the next two weeks without so much as a traffic infraction. You will also be going the next two weeks with a suspended weapons license due to your negligent behavior on the rooftop. Okay. Mm. After those two weeks are up, you will come see me. I will verify that you have been a good boy, and you will get your weapons license back. Okay, and not, nothing on my record, correct? Not the sale of drugs on your record. Hey, you didn't win. I told you you were going to win, motherfucker. I have won. Wait, back it up. Wait, don't be reaching. Don't be reaching. Back it up, my friend. Go pay your I lawyers. Won. Go pay your I lawyers. Won, my I'm going to pay my lawyers. You're worth every penny of it. You know what? I can do that because I sell the drugs.